Hey everybody, it's uh, Rob Newell again, and I just want to give you a little bit of insight, if I can, if I have any, uh, on this cold day, on a scenario that I put up uh, that actually came out in a discussion between me and Wade uh, in the uh, messaging area of uh, kind of a back and forth about the, this case here, and that is this uh, Gibbons v. Ogden, and I'm not going to give you the full site here because I'm just doing this from memory, but remember that I told you that there's an 1821 decision, and then there's an 1824 decision, and I think it's important to look at the differences here and understand some things. And we would call the first case procedural and the second case substantive, okay? And what do we mean by procedure? Well, procedure, like we can also call it in the social sciences methodology. Uh, this is often used in research and so forth. And so what you want is more or less a bulletproof procedure. The critical important parts a procedure is they need to be fair or just to everybody that's involved, okay? And then the flip side of this is the substantive. And so this is what it has, uh, you know, the root is substance, uh, the important, you know, really what's this case really all about? In other words, the subject matter, okay? Subject matter, okay? So... Uh, what was the subject matter? Okay, subject matter is like, this is another kind of a pilotage case, pilotage case, okay? So what do we know about pilotage in the constitutional law? Well, remember there's another case here called Cooley, Cooley with two L's, Cooley v. Board of Wardens, okay? Board of Wardens, okay? And remember that that case was in Philadelphia. So I'm gonna put like Philly. And then this case up here is in New York and New Jersey, okay? And you know, there was no love between New York and New Jersey back in these days, okay? So what happened here was in 1821, there was an appeal filed on a decision that said this guy could not run his ship or boat, ferry, whatever, between uh, New Jersey and New York because he was uh, one or the other. He was a New Jersey ship, I think, trying to enter into New York, what they called New York waters, okay? But the problem that we got into with it in terms of the procedural aspect, and we're going to circle this because Cooley has nothing to do with procedural, is that there were flaws in the appeal, okay, flaws. And I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. Uh, what they're saying is they didn't follow the rules, okay? So this is like the rules of the road, okay? So these are the rules, okay? And this is how, this, this applies to all cases. In all appeals, you have to do X, Y, and Z, okay? And so that's what we mean by procedure or the method. How do you bring this appeal? You have to do certain things, you know, you have to do it in a timely manner and so forth. So basically, uh, there's a lot of reasons why the procedure could be in error. It could be that uh, the case is not a complete case yet. At the trial level, there's no final decision to appeal. Very rare that you can uh, appeal a case before it even starts. Uh, and so, um, you know, it was uh, in that ilk that there's something wrong with that case. Now, like I said, the substantive has to do with ships, boats, ferries, plying the waters of the uh, different separate states. And, you know, this has come up between Indiana and Kentucky many times is, you know, where is the line between Indiana and Kentucky, and that's all a bunch of legal mumbo-jumbo uh, lawsuits involved. Uh, very good recent case, Indiana was trying to allow a uh, gambling boat to ply the river of Ohio. The Ohio River runs between 
uh, Kentucky and Indiana, everybody in Indiana knows that. Well, anyway, uh, what they found is about 90% of the Ohio River is actually in Kentucky, and so they said they were going to prosecute them if they pulled that, um, you know, um, gambling boat down into Kentucky because there's no gambling allowed in Kentucky. Uh, and so what they ended up having to do is keep the gambling boats tied to the dock and quite frankly that is more profitable. So Indiana backed off and said well we'll just keep them tied to the dock. Now what we've gone to later is as you know uh, actual gambling casinos not just riverboat gambling. So uh, they're actually some of them look like a boat like up in Michigan City but it's kind of ridiculous and you may say Mr. Daywald, how come you know so much about gambling boats? <coughs> Let's move on, students. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, why did Gibbons end up that, you know, the state of New York cannot stop a ferryman from carrying passengers from New Jersey to New York? But then on the other hand, why did Cooley come down to that the Board of Wardens could require the ships that come in into their harbor to have a Philadelphia pilot or pay a fine? Why is it? Why? Well, it's all about one word, and it keeps coming up, and I have students that challenge me all the time on this. What do you mean? I don't see this. Uh, anywhere in the Constitution and so you know I always have to go back and explain this and I'm just gonna do it right now it's all about safety safety okay now where does it say safety in the Constitution it never does it doesn't what does it say it says general welfare general welfare and so safety is part of general welfare, okay? So in other words, people need to be safe in the United States in order to enjoy the fruits of their labor, their safety, you know, their family, to go to church as they please, you know, all these things hinge on their general welfare. So what it says is the government of the United States has broad powers to protect their citizens, okay? And if the states are violating that, then they can stop them. If foreign countries are violating that, they can stop them. Uh, terrorists are, are, are doing something to members or yeah, citizens of the United States, they can stop them. That's the job of the federal government, okay? So in this particular case, in the Cooley case, they said, well, a pilot you know, that is a safety concern, okay? And rather than the federal government have to come in and provide pilots for all these ships, be very expensive, why not let Philadelphia, I always write Philly like that because I think of a Philly steak sandwich. It sounds really good right now. Well, anyway, safety is the point, is that Philly can enforce the fines for uh, safety, okay? Well, there was no similar argument made in Gibbons. In Gibbons, it was just, we live in New York, we hate New Jersey, we don't want New Jersey to be you know, driving their ships up to our docks in New York City. I mean, it's just, that's all it is. It's very parochial, uh, and so that basically violates the interstate commerce between New Jersey, what are they going to say? Well, you can pull up so far, but then we've got to come out and get you or what, you know? So what they're saying is it's a ridiculous uh, thing to be like this, that it's good for everybody to have interstate commerce. It goes back to a comment that someone made in one of our posts, Heart of Atlanta versus U.S. Heart of Atlanta versus U.S., they said, why wouldn't somebody want money? You know, here you are denying blacks the opportunity to stay in your motel. And I, I love to say this, and I'm going to close with this. It said, an old farmer told me one time, I don't care about race. I don't care about religion. I don't care about anything except the color green. I said, what do you mean the color green? He says, well, 
What color is money? Money's green. So he said, the only color I care about is green. So keep that in mind. All right, well, that's it for today. I wanted to add that. That's just a little value-added piece for being enrolled in my class. But I feel like we need to dig a little deeper on some of these cases and start doing some comparison. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier about shepherds. Remember, we've got to start shepherdizing and say, where did the court talk about this? And, you know, is, why is this different? Why is it the same? And that's what con law is really all about. When you get a fuller meaning of this, you'll understand that it's really all about comparing. Why did they go this way? Why did they go that way? And you'll have to dig and dig and dig, and then you'll finally find that, like in this case, it was just parochial jealousy versus the general welfare, or what I like to call safety. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. Hope that you have a good day.